So you've spent the entire last year getting prepared for this one moment when that calf is born, and it's so important that we have a plan that we establish the foundation of health for the rest of its life. So in order to be prepared, we want to make sure that we have all of our supplies in place. Making sure that your toolbox is ready to go and that everyone knows where it's at is very important. The next thing is understanding how important colostrum management is. The antibodies that are in the colostrum come from mom. She actually makes those before the calf is even born. And then at birth, that colostrum process stops from the cow, so whatever is there is what the calf needs. As soon as birth, that calf needs to get up and get that sample. When you get to 12 hours of life, the intestinal lining in that calf starts to shut down by half, which means that we can't get those good antibodies from the colostrum into the calf's circulation. If we get to 24 hours, we have complete closure, and then we've lost the ability for that calf to get any sort of immune support from that important colostrum. So understanding things that could possibly be getting in the way. That would be things like maybe that cow doesn't have enough colostrum, knowing when to supplement that calf with extra colostrum, and also knowing when to give the calf some, some colostrum, so such as if you pulled the calf and it's not doing well, if it has a, it's very weak, um, it doesn't have a very good vigor, that could possibly lead to issues with colostrum intake. And then finally, I think it's really important to understand the birthing process and when you need to intervene and possibly call for help if it's an emergency. I always use the rule of thumb of 30 minutes for a cow after I've seen the water bag if we haven't had any sort of progression, uh, and then also one hour after a heifer. That's how we know that there's something going on and we need to get in and take a look. Once you do get in and you find out what's happening, if there's something that doesn't feel right, it's always a good time to call for help. But understanding what's there and the normal presentation of a calf, where it's the two front feet and a head, is important, and that's important to tell your veterinarian too on what, what to expect. So if it is a calving emergency and you need help, that would be one situation, but another one could be after calving, such as a uterine prolapse. So understanding that that situation can be fatal to a cow and that you need to call for help immediately is very important. There's a lot of information that's necessary to establish your calving plan, so I encourage everyone to watch my Spring Calving Strategies webinar on angusuniversity.com, where I go into detail on what tools are essential to have in your toolbox, as well as some tips and tricks to help you get through a successful calving season.